Hello everyone, welcome to our discussion on the characteristics of a good test. In this lesson, we will discuss objectivity, validity, reliability, and utility as well. These qualities are almost always taken into consideration in choosing psychometric tests. That means if you will be a psychometrician or a psychologist, you have to check these qualities in choosing assessment tools for data gathering, be it at different settings. Let us say, for example, that you will be assigned in industrial clinic to assess the psychological fitness of applicants who wish to go overseas, then you will check the said qualities of the test you will use and not simply administering them the test. Okay, since you are aware that there are competencies involved with psychological assessment, it is uh, necessary for us to consider these factors okay now let us define these uh, characteristics okay for objectivity it refers to the quality of uh, the test about its standard scoring administration and interpretation which are free of test scholars personal bias for example if a psychometrician has an objective personality inventory he or she will likely follow the procedures on how to administer score and interpret the test so uh, he or she will not be creative in interpreting the results next we have the validity when we say validity it is simply means that the test tries to measure what it aims to measure for example the test items in the UPI are under the factor extraversion all items included there should identify characteristics about extraversion and not about other factors okay or an intelligence test for example if you wish to measure the person's ability to solve visual spatial ability of that person the test developer should not include other items in this factor which do not really represent what we are trying to measure we are security, uh, securing validity so we can gather valid data as well. Another good characteristic of a psychometric test is what we call the reliability. When we say reliability, it refers to the stability and consistency of the test to produce the same results under the same condition. For example, if a test taker will t uh, take neo pi r today and he will take it again after six months these uh, tests should accurately measure the personality consistently or if i will create two different sets of tests or i will create a parallel form for a test then the test items for both sets should have stable and have the same constructs okay and the last one is utility or simply uh, the practical use of the test which, uh, which uh, might consider um, the benefits as well as the cost okay as well as the scoring of this uh, test okay it could be uh, this type of characteristics for the utility now the utility of the test is concerned about the delivery and final output of the test of course if it is affected if it, it is affected by objectivity, validity, and reliability of the test. All right. For the next uh, video, we will discuss uh, the um, validity, reliability, and the utility. But now, we will discuss objectivity. Objectivity of a test simply refers to the ability of the test to eliminate the scorer's personal opinion, bias, or judgment. For example, an intelligence test that has right or wrong answers can be marked or can be graded objectively. Or in a personality test, it has standard procedures on how to interpret the raw scores into standardized scores or verbal interpretation of scores provided in the manual. Basically, an objective test does not allow any personal opinion of the test user or scorer to creatively interpret the uh, gathered data. Also, an objective test may also consider the target norms. So this property of the test is related to 
the characteristics of the original test takers, for example, or target individuals that the test is designed for. Now, you might be asking uh, that there are tests such as a projected test that are likely subject to poor objective testing since a test like this uh, can be interpreted freely by the uh, test user. What are the responses of client can be interpreted. Okay, This may not be necessarily true in practice about uh, the projective personality test. There are test developers or researchers who are creating test manuals for objective scoring for this kind of test. For example, for the thematic apperception test, we have Dana's manual for objective scoring. Or for the Rorschach's inkblot, it has Exner's comprehensive system to interpret the responses. And of course, throughout time, these manuals are subject to revisions and development to cater the needs of objectivity in using these tests. Not just in projected tests, even other tests such as 16PF, NeoPi, MMPI, and other personality and intelligence tests are being revised okay, because of the need to establish sound psychometric tools, particularly establishing objectivity in using the said Tools. Again, when we talk about objectivity, the test should be characterized with the standard procedures to avoid unnecessary intervention coming from the test scorer. For, so, for example, a psychometrician uh, would administer a score and interpret the test, a score up uh, the test objectively. So, another psychometrician who will likely use this kind of test will follow the procedures provided in the manual, okay, uh, without the chance of error, okay? So this concludes our uh, discussion for the general, uh, for the general discussion for the objectivity. And for the next video, we will discuss validity, reliability, and utility. Thank you so much. We will see you in the next video.